Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordila. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a contact form in WordPress using Elementor. For those of you who don't know, Elementor is a free WordPress website builder. It offers over 80 design elements like buttons, headings, forms, and so on, and over 200 ready to use templates. So you can build anything you want, either that's a simple form or a full fledged website. Now in this video, I'll show you how to create this uh, simple contact form using the pro version of Elementor. But if you don't have the pro version, I'll also show you two ways of creating this form using the free version of the plugin. Before we get started, I'll assume that you have a basic understanding of how WordPress works and how to install a plugin. So I won't go over um, setting up WordPress and installing Elementor. Instead, I'll just go ahead and start building the contact form. And um, any resources that I'm going to be using or mentioning in this video will be linked down below. So with that said, let's begin. For uh, this demo, I'm actually going to be using a landing page that I created in a previous tutorial here on Tuts Plus. It's the uh, furniture landing page. And if you haven't seen that tutorial, make sure you check out the links down below and watch that first. But essentially, I created a very simple landing page that looks like this. And we created that from scratch. So no template was used whatsoever. Now, for this demo, I'm going to make some changes to this page. And I'm basically going to replace this section right here with a section that will house a contact form. So let's get to it. First of all, I'm going to select this section and under style, I'm going to change this background color from custom accent to our custom text, like so. Next, I'm going to open up the navigator and I'm going to select this heading, copy it, and I'm going to go to this column and paste it. Now let's just bring that up. And I'm also going to copy this heading. And I'm going to paste it here as well. Just like that. Next, I'm going to actually delete this heading and this button. Let's close the navigator. And let's select these, uh, these headings. I'm going to change their text color to white. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit I'm going to add a little bit of transparency and to this as well, style, text color, I'm going to set it to white. Now the text inside these will say, contact us and let's get in touch. All right. Now under this, we need to add a form. How do we do that? Well, let me just start by saying that the easiest method is by using the form widget from Elementor. But this is only available in the pro version. And the pro version costs about $50 per year. Now, if you don't have the pro version, there are two ways you can add your form. And I'm going to show you those briefly first. And then we're going to build our form using the pro form widget. So the first way is to use a and let me just find it here. Where are you? It's an HTML widget. So you can just drag that in. And you would write your HTML code, right? You'll say form. And then you would add your inputs, and so on and so forth. This requires a bit of coding knowledge. 
right? Because you need to write the markup and then you need to go to advanced custom CSS and add your own custom CSS here to style this form. Not a very, let's call it a beginner friendly approach. So this is one way using an HTML uh, widget. Another way is to use a short code. And a short code allows you to embed a form created elsewhere. To make things easier for you, you can simply go to the dashboard, to the plugins, and you can install Contact Form 7. This is a hugely popular and free plugin that allows you to create contact forms or any kind of forms, really. So once you install it, you activate it and you get a new section here in WordPress. And by default, it comes with a standard contact form. You can go ahead and edit that form to your liking. For example, you can remove this field. You can change the um, text on this button. Uh, you can add multiple fields and so on. Then you can go to these sections and set up uh, your mail, where you would like to receive uh, the mails from the contact form, how the messages should look like, and so on and so forth. Uh, essentially, you would save the changes, you would copy this short code, and then you would go back to Elementor, uh, you would find the short code widget, drag it in, and you would just paste in that contact form, right? And this works. The only problem is you don't have access to the styling of these fields individually from inside Elementor, right? You would need to write some custom CSS for them again, and that, you know, will, uh, will take some time. So I think this is a better approach than the first one I gave you with the uh, HTML widget where you'd have to code your form from scratch, but still, this is not necessarily beginner friendly. So with that said, uh, let me show you the preferred way of creating a form with Elementor. And that is by using the Elementor form widget, which again, is available on the pro version, which I have installed right here. So with a simple click and drag, you now have access to the individual form fields, buttons, and also the styling of the labels and the fields and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. So the form name, let's call this contact form. For fields, I want name, email, and message. This is actually the, the standard, but you can always add an item here and you can choose the type you want. Maybe you want like a select or uh, maybe you, a URL for a website, whatever you want, you can do it inside here. But I'm gonna stick with these three fields. I'm gonna go through each one of these fields and I'm gonna set the, uh, the fields as required, email as well, email is required, message will also be required. Here I can define how many rows I want. Let's go with like maybe six, seven or eight rows should do the trick. And these are a little bit too, too big, too wide. So I'm going to set these up as 75% width like that. Now let's go to the button, set this to 75% as well. For the text, I'm going to say send, oops, send message. Actions after, after submit. Uh, you can tell the form what to do after you click the submit button. Here it says email, right? So it's going to send you an email. Here you can define the address where you want that email to, uh, to be sent. Uh, the subject, so new message from, let's call it in my case, local WordPress, and it's just gonna uh, give me all the fields here. There are some additional options you can define here, like from whom the email is, uh, the name, uh, the metadata, and so on and so forth. Now, 
let's go to style, the label, text color, I'm going to set it to white, a little bit lower opacity, something like this around 80%. And under typography, I'm going to use the same typeface that I used throughout this uh, design, which is pop ins, and it's going to be 18 pixels. Weight is going to be 200 transform uppercase. Line height is going to be 28 uh, pixels. And also let's give it a little bit of letter spacing, something like two. Now, for the fields, the text color is going to be our custom text typography is going to just be the default inherited from the parent. Uh, the background color is going to be white. But I want it to be like around 10% opacity, which is I believe something like this. Uh, I don't want a, a border color. So we'll actually remove that border. And actually for the uh, text color here, let's go with white. For the button under typography, we'll go again with pop -ins. 18 pixels. This is going to be bold. 20 pixels line height. Like that. Uh, border type. We'll give it a one pixel border. And where it says next and submit button, let's change the background color to uh, just transparent, like so. Text color is white border color, we're going to set this to white as well. And border radius, we'll just uh, default that to zero. Let's hit update. And now if we go to advanced, we have some um, more advanced options here like margin, padding and so on. Let's actually give this a custom width of 640 pixels. And we'll actually align this uh, in the center. Let's also go to style and change uh, the row gaps to 24 pixels. And then under field, uh, reset the border radius for these to zero. And actually what I want to do here is uh, go through each uh, field and set the column width to 100%. Uh, percent. I know I set it to 75 previously, but uh, I want these to be uh, properly centered in the page. And I want to be able to change the form width in just one place instead of changing uh, every single um, field width. So let's uh, quickly change these back to 100%. And now, you know, I can uh, go to advanced here under positioning width, and I can very easily change the width of my form to whatever value I see fit. In my case, 640 pixels look looks uh, just right. So let's go ahead and update that. And uh, we can actually hit preview. And there it is. That is our contact form. And I actually forgot uh, to change the um, the button size to 100% as well. So let's update that. And here it is our form. Let's see if it works, send message. And I'm just going to quickly check my uh, email here to see if we uh, got an email. Mm, not yet. Maybe it takes a bit of time to uh, uh, to send the email. Or maybe I didn't configure uh, something properly in here. Maybe because I'm on, on a local installation of WordPress. Either way, uh, this should work just fine when you're uh, running this on a live server. Uh, one last thing I want to do here this uh, button is um, not styled properly. So under style, if we go to buttons, 
So the typography is set correctly. Border type is solid with. Okay, so basically it's not getting the correct padding I want. And I can't seem to change that from the advanced tab either. So in this case, you need to go to site settings. And under theme style, you will find buttons. And here, you can actually set the correct padding. In my case, that padding is 24 pixels top bottom, and 64 pixels left and right, like so. So let's update that. And uh, here under site settings, you can also go to form fields, and you can update some properties that uh, couldn't be updated from uh, inside your usual element or um, inspectors. For example, the text color, the background, uh, the padding here as well. So I can just as easily add a 16 pixel padding to all of these fields and they will be correctly updated. And finally, we can add, uh, if we go back to our form here, we can add a simple text that's going to say, all fields are required. And, um, you know, I can align this to the center. Uh, I can add like a white text color to that, make it 50% transparent. And under typography, we can make this like 18 pixels. And we can uh, use uh, italic on it as well. And then we can uh, select the actual form and we can add a margin bottom of, let's say, 24 pixels or 32 pixels even, or whatever value you want. So let's update. And now we have our contact form. Pretty cool. As I was saying, this uh, form currently doesn't work properly because I'm probably on a local installation of WordPress and the uh, email server is not configured properly, but I'm sure you won't have any problems when you're running it on an actual server where everything is configured properly. But yeah, uh, basically three ways of uh, creating a contact form with uh, Elementor. The first two ways were a bit more difficult and worked with the free version of Elementor. Uh, the third way is the easiest of all, but you would need the pro version of the plugin to make it work. So the choice is really yours. If you have the pro version, then use the dedicated uh, widget. If not, uh, you'll need to do a bit more work to get it to, um, to where you want, but it's also doable by using the first two methods I showed you. All right, and that wraps up this video on how to create a contact form in WordPress with Elementor. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi, and until next time, take care.